Hello there, this is Dave Motohead out in the garage on a cold, cold night. And you may ask yourself, hey Dave, why are you out in the garage on a cold, cold night at 8.30 when everybody else is sleeping or playing on the internet? Well, because I want to go fast. I want Phil to go fast. I want us all to go really, really fast. And the only way to do that is to stay up late and work on engines. And this is what I'm doing right now. Let me put on a hat cam. Well, what I got here is I got me a set of Total Seal rings. And they are going on these Arias pistons that have gas port holes drilled in them. So the compression goes in these holes and spreads the ring out so we get good compression the ring doesn't collapse under 30 pounds of boost and I sent that piston to Total Seal and they sent me back this ring set and they left the rings long on purpose so I could custom cut each one of them to the cylinder this is a Volkswagen cylinder with an extension ring on it so what I'm doing is I am cutting each ring to specific specifications with the ring gap for you know per cylinder so anyways what you want to do with that is you want to take the ring and you want to stick it down in the cylinder like so and then you want to take the piston and you want to push it down in there and I'm gonna go right yep there goes the, the heater because it's cold I got that thing set at 50 degrees so every time it gets below 50 in here it comes on saves fuel that way Anyway, I'm going to go right to this little notch here for starters. And when you push the piston down in there, it uh, makes the ring square in the bore. So I'm going to check this ring. And I think I've already checked this one. And it, if you see the feeler gauge, you stick the feeler gauge in between the gap. And you can see the gap there maybe. And I'm sticking the feeler gauge in. and. This is 15 thousandths, and it barely slides in there. And that's a 15.015. Well, on my total seal ring chart, when they sent me these rings, they said the top ring should have a gap of 0.025. So that means that I need to grind my ring down a little bit, about 10 thousandths, to uh, get it to fit properly. So I'm gonna pull my little ring out, and I'm going to stick it on my little ring grinder and pinch it down and I'm going to grind. And then I think that's probably about right. I think I counted that for every 10 grinds with my fingers pushed on there I get like a couple thousands. So then I want to put my ring back in there and push it back down with the piston and I'm going to go right to this groove again just to check and make sure that it's nice and flat and now let's see where we're at. I had 15 before and 15 slides right in now so let's go up to say 18. Let's see if an 18 will fit. 18 fits. I'll go to a 20. 20 fits. Go to a 22. Ah, uh, it's getting a little bit stiffer now. Let's go to 24. 24 barely fits in there. And then the 25 does not. So what I'm finding is for about every rotation of about 10 that it's taking off just about enough so if I go just a little bit more say two more rotations here and put it back in the cylinder and square it up with my piston make sure it's flush and square there See how that thing goes on and off? Saves me fuel and keeps me warm. And now I am right at 25 thousandths. A little bit tight still. So I need to go just a little teeny bit more. 
that should probably about do it right there I would think and we'll push it back in there make sure we're squared up and there we are I don't know if you can see that or not but it's in there so this ring is now good for the number one piston now I'm going to have to do this ring and if you see I don't know if you can see that or not this this ring has a step in it right there and the total seal ring this ring goes in and this ring goes on the outside of it with opposing gaps you see it fits in that little step like that and then it has a oppose the gaps and so we've got the the small ring gap over here and the big ring gap over there and that is why it's called a total seal ring because it it gaps all you know what it seals off the whole thing like that so anyways i'm going to have to go through and do every single piston there's about five rings per cylinder there is the two top rings and then there's the the middle ring which is the napier cut ring to keep the oil down inside there and then I've got the top and bottom rail of the oil ring and I'm gonna have to measure each one of these per cylinder and as soon as I'm done I got my gap set I'm gonna put them on the piston and lube this up and knock the piston down in the cylinder and and then move on to the next one and so I got a lot of cutting and a lot of measuring to do but that's how you uh, you check ring in gap and there's all the cylinders I have left to do and I'm just gonna keep going at this until it's all done and you ask you ask yourself you say but Dave why do you do crazy stuff like this in the middle of the night well I'm gonna let Ricky Bobby answer that because I want to go fast that's why Phil wants to go fast I want to go fast we all want to go fast at some point and we're hoping that this engine will make us go really really fast and if it blows up in five minutes after I build it, five minutes after we start it, I'm going to rip it apart and figure out what I did wrong or what happened or why it blew up and correct it. And we're going to try again. And that's what you got to do. You got to just keep trying. You got to keep working at it. You got to make it happen. This day, Motorhead. Thanks for watching.